Hello, my monsterlings. This is the Honest Monster. Once again, with the Evil Within number two. Where we last left off, we actually saved another Mobius agent. His name is Sykes. He's a hacker. He's a pretty good hacker, too. I am recording this, right? Yeah, it says I am. Evil Within number two. Well, anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the offer and take the stuff that the guy offered. But we'll also hear his proposal out. So, before I hear his proposal, I gotta get a cup of joe. Oh, yeah, look at that dark black. Whatever the freak it is. Supposedly, it's coffee, but for all I know, I'm drinking tar. Wow, that actually... And as always, that gave me some good health. Now, what else do you got in here, dude? Oh, I get it, Those dude. Locked, but I could get it open if you're willing to help. Okay, yeah, 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 I'll do it, I'll do it. Yeah, we're gonna hear his proposal out, because he is a good guy. Even if he is working for Mobius. Yeah, we'll hear your proposal, dude, come on. All right, I'm all ears. How can we help each other? I need you to restore the server inside the mirror. It should be easy enough, as long as none of those freaks are around. Here's where it's located. Hold on, I haven't agreed to anything yet. What's in it for me? You do that for me? I can open up all the locked supply caches for you. And what's in it for you? If you get the server on, I may be able to find another way out of Union. There's really a way to get out of Union? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it a try. They've lost contact with STEM. We're totally cut off. If we don't find the core, we're all gonna die in here. Unless I can figure a way out. How is that possible? You really want me to waste your time talking a bunch of technical gibberish? All I have to do is turn it on? How did the server go offline in the first place? All I'm saying is if you turn on that server, I can give it a shot. Look at this place. It's breaking apart out there. I'm surprised anything is working. But then again, Mobius probably turned it off themselves. They've got all kinds of emergency protocols in place. And you're questioning the almighty Mobius? Hey, I don't mind being a grunt, but the moment I become expendable, well, that's when I start to look for the exit door. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. So, you gonna help me out or not? Yeah, I'll help out. But I still got stuff to do, like find Lily and destroy another piece of art. By the way, we got another slide, so we're gonna look into the slide. Where? Wait a minute, where'd I go? Oh, there we go. Anyway, we gotta activate the Mobius server. Hello, little cat. Don't even know why you're even here. I don't even remember owning a cat. Anyway, we got another slide the witch gave us. This one. Oh. It's me, Kidman. Good to know you're still there, Sebastian. After Beacon, I tried to make some sense of what happened to me. But everyone said I was delusional. Or hiding the truth. I started to believe that maybe they were right. That maybe I was crazy. I felt so frustrated. Useless. Drinking was the only thing that killed the pain. So much time wasted. I could have tried harder. Shit. Don't beat yourself up, Sebastian. When Mobius doesn't want to be found... Don't make excuses for me, Kidman. I fucked up. Look, Sebastian, this isn't the time to dwell on the past. This is the time to make up for it. Self-pity is what led you to drink in the first place. You have a chance to get back what you lost. Don't lose sight of that. Harsh, but true. You're right, Kidman. Thanks. Now the cat should have me, should have some gel for me. Yeah, there it is. A little jar of gel. Now, there ain't no easy way to get to the friggin' place, because where you come up from is where you are. You can't really teleport around. Well, anyway, we're gonna do- we're gonna- we're gonna do this job for Sykes. Now, where was that again? Oh. Go to the main road. Go that way. At least the fire's out. Ooh, ammo. And an axe. I'm 
actually kind of curious. What turned off the server? Because if I got to go in the marrow, something tells me that what turned off the server is Mr. Goo. And if it's Mr. Goo, then... Sh then sh Ow! That was interesting. But apparently right now they can hear me. kind of curious why did I have to fight the the buzzsaw lady again that doesn't make any sense yeah it's best to that. yeah but that doesn't make any sense why did I have to fight the buzzsaw lady I already fought her once you think it'd be a permanent dead and not be a, a respawner because when I killed Mr. Buzzsaw when I killed the chainsaw guy in the first game he never came back well, he came back because he was brought back to life, but, you know, he never came back. Wait a minute. Right, I should save. You know, just in case if I screw up or the game glitches on me like it did. By the way, always remember to, take a br to have your console take a breather. Because a game console can get overburnt out. What, what does that mean? It means if you have the console running for too long, it will start acting up on you in the middle of games. It's kind of like um, when you're trying to stay up in the middle of the night trying to play video games, but you're slowly nodding off. It's because you're running out of energy. And so is your freaking Vietnam console. Oh, anyway. Oh my gosh, come on, load. Well, anyway, there's also other games I'm going to record in the future. For example, I got Injustice 2, Mega Man 8. Um, I'm going to be recording MDK2 Armageddon because from what I can tell, there's not really much footage on the game. By the way, the second one's so much better than the first one. And what is MDK? It's not an acronym. That's literally the title of the video game. Alright, the psychologist should be here. So anyway, this is the safe house room. So I need to go out that way, then go that way, then that way. I think I was in that room before. Oh, there's the team psychologist. Oh, that's the reason why I can't go through that door. It's barricaded. I gotta say, psychologist with team, she's smart. I'm not even sure if I should even try and turn on the server, to tell you the truth, because Mr. Goo was over here, and I didn't kill him. He almost killed me, though. Alright, so right through the main room where Mr. Goo was that one time. That's interesting. See, what's very interesting is that Mr. G Goo was in this room, but he ain't anymore. I forgot. I really had to, like, surf. I really had to, like, turn corners and stuff, man. I gotta say, this is very interesting. Where the hell is he? I didn't kill him. I didn't kill him at all. This whole place was filled with the white. Like somebody... Still nothing. There's no trace at all. Something tells me I might have to sneak back though. What the hell? That was creepy. No, that was, that was really creepy. Okay, anyway, here it is. Look when I said that. Server's on. Seems like that worked. Guess I should go back to Sykes. Dang.
Is it Mr. Goo? Oh no, it's just a normal monster. He's probably gonna be chilling outside the door indefinitely, so we might as well start this. Here we go. Yeah, you thought you had to jump on me, huh? I'm like, Stewie, where's my money? So they are all over here. Hi. My name? My name is Castellanos. What's your name? Mr. Ugh! It's nice to meet you. You know, we have so much in common. Like, um, we used to be human. We got screwed over by Mobius. Wait a minute, which way do I go now? Oh, Ah, no, not that lady. Keep backing up. Go back. Okay, that's a, that I can actually handle. Huh? I thought I, I thought I investigated this. Ideal core candidate must have an unfettered ego in order to retain their own personality while supporting the interlinked minds of many others. Given these parameters, there's only two possible candidates. Candidate types, my bad. Egomaniacs with psychopathic tendencies or children. We all know what happened the last time an egomaniac with psychopathic tendencies was in STEM, so a child is our best bet. Having access to standardized school test results, we are able to narrow down our options. We feel that we found the ideal core candidate in Lily Castellanos. Her tests show that she's not only has the guileless ego, but she also exhibits incredibly advanced empathy for a child her age. We are sending her to Dr. Hoffman for further tests. I didn't investigate that, but that is such bullshit. No, I, I gotta say, that's just major bullshit, man. I mean, you abducted a kid. You tested out two things. You tested a kid, and then you tested an egomaniac. And yet, here we are. Another egomaniac got in. Another egomaniac got in. I'm curious, where the hell did Mr. Goo go? Pretty much, it was a giant white monster, but you couldn't kill it. You had to sneak past it. But for some reason, he wasn't in there. He was replaced with monsters. Maybe it'll be a later boss. I don't know. I, I don't know. To tell you the truth, I wish I knew when that creature was going to reappear. It's kind of like with the witch. I wish I know what to interact with. Alright, so um, I'm back here now. I'm going to save so I don't have to go through that again, but... Uh, you know, I can actually go through that again, because it wasn't as bad as sneaking past the witch, to tell you the truth. It wasn't bad at all. It was actually very, very tame. Very tame. I really gotta say, it was very tame. Oh yeah, um, did I tell you about the shooting gallery and the, um, the target thing? I beat the shooting, I, I defeated the, the multi-door target thing, but I didn't beat the shooting gallery. Because... The final one is the toughest. The, the minions are fast. You also got a cardboard Ruvik that teleports. It's like, dang, how am I supposed to shoot the targets? The good thing is you got unlimited ammo, so you can just keep going and going and going, which is great, because it's always good to have unlimited ammo. Especially in a game where you have to spare your bullets, so to speak. There are more gun parts here. I gotta say, I love this game. But I hate the witch, because it's an unkillable foe, which can spawn if you go the wrong way, and or if you interact with them. Alright, oh, I, I almost thought you were a zombie for a second, but you're not a zombie, you're just a dead body. I don't know. Okay, anyway, let's keep going. Well, anyway, I like what Capcom does, but it's kind of what pisses me off of late when it comes to Capcom. Oh, wait, no, what am I saying by Capcom? Wait, was it by Capcom? I mean, they, they're the people that made Resident Evil, and, Resident, and the people that made Resident Evil did this, right? Hi. The server is online. Yeah, I'm already in. I unlocked the supply containers just like I promised. See if you can open that one there. Okay. Gun part. 
A silenced handgun? That's awesome! That means I can sneak kill! Hold on! Let me access it. Semi-automatic or silenced? I'll switch to the semi-auto when everything goes to hell. Thanks again for helping me out. The hard part comes next. Can you really do it? Get out of Union? Like I said, I'm gonna give it my best shot. But there's a ton of data I gotta scrub through before I can even start. I just hope I can do it before this place turns into a pile of gravel and guts. It's gonna take me a while. So what happens if you get out of Union? If I can make it out of the Mobius building alive, first thing I'm gonna do is disable my damn chip. Chip? Yeah. Everybody in Mobius has got a subdermal chip in their head. Sort of like an RFID, but way more advanced. And I mean everybody. From the administrator all the way down to the guy who cleans the toilets. And you submit to that willingly? Like they say, membership has its privileges. That chip will open a lot of doors for you if you got one. The downside is, with that chip in place, they can make my life a living hell if they think I disobeyed them. I guess you can worry about that if you make it out of here. I might be interested in getting out of here too. You're welcome to, but I'm not gonna wait around for you. I'm leaving here as soon as I find a way. Your best bet is to hang out here with me and wait until I figure this out. No way. I'm not leaving this place without Lily. Theoretically, if you find her, you'll restore this place and get yourself out. I'd prefer to take Lily out the back door with me. Mobius just wants to plug her back into STEM. And God knows what they've got planned for me. If we could just get out when they're not looking. Well, either way, I've got a lot of work to do. Otherwise, nobody's using the back door. Let's pair up our communicators. Call me before you leave. Yeah, okay. Good luck out there. Dude, that is awesome. We can stick at the Mobius and probably have a second ending. And if you can get a second ending in this game, I'm willing to take the I'm willing to take option B. I'm willing to take option B, especially with the douchebags and Mobius. Because if I take option A, there's gonna be a lot of bullshit to tell you the truth. Yeah, I kinda figured there was nothing in there but gunpowder. But anyway, we gotta get back to work. And the work is we got to freaking break we gotta save Lily. Now we can't get to the theater. We got to find the we gotta destroy the last piece of art. I wish you can see me right now. I'm making quotation marks as we speak. It's messed up. Torture either. Kills women for art. That's like stupid. Oh, okay. I, I get freaked out by that because I think I'm going to get hit with a missile. I really think I'm going to get hit with a missile every time I hear that. What the hell is that? Damn it. Not you. Hi. Oh, crap. It's really open. I could shoot you without you. Like that. Now you got mad. That was perfect. How far is the other one out of the. Oh, it's actually not far out of the way at all. It was actually where she was. She was a trap. She was a trap. I didn't. I got baited. You baited. Oh, wow. More shotgun ammo? Dude, I like these pouches. It's like the freaking chocolate bags from freak. It's like the chocolate bags from freaking SpongeBob. Okay, so from what I can tell, it's the red. The signal is coming from in here. Of course, it looks like I'm just. So is it up or down? Let's go up, just in case. Yeah, it's up. There's the next one the Swan Lake. The messed up Swan Lake, to be exact. Let's finish this. Alright, you gonna be like that? Oh. What? Not you again. It's like I couldn't kill you. You again. Are you kidding me? 
Technically, I'm not afraid of this thing. I'm afraid of the witch more than the... Whatever it's called. The, um... Actually, what is the thing called again? I can't remember. The, uh... I mean, they... All right. This should get me close to that art. The... Maybe I can sneak by it. The Obscurus or whatever. Oh. Ah! Oh. Fuck it. Dang, you saw me? I was bolting. Shit! <laughs> made it. Hopefully I'm done with those things for a while. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I, I'm so sorry for that, people. I, I didn't I didn't mean to scream. Wait a minute. Maria, oh Maria Crane. You gotta be kidding me! It's a pun. So the other one was probably a pun too. Okay, this one's left. Bring it on. Ow! Are you kidding me? I was able to slice the other one in the back. Ah, there. Are you. Thank you! Boom. I, that's what I call respect and art from a psycho. That's both of them. Should have done the trick. Better head back to the theater and see if I can get in. Oh, you'll most likely get in. I mean, this guy would be so pissed at you that knowing that he, you destroyed two pieces of his art. Again, quotation marks. Where is it again? Oh, okay, past the buildings. Maybe I can cut through. Nah, I can't cut through. I can do my best to cut through, but I don't think I can cut all the way through. You know, I can like go partial way, but then I'll have to turn and then go again, then make a turn and give me that. There we go. Okay, look, I'm fed up with you, so sit there. Thank you. For a second, I thought there was another one. But that wouldn't make any sense. Dang it! Come on with this. Okay, there we go. Dang it! Well, then again, they couldn't have you, like, shortcutted. Hey! I know this. Every one of these statues has this key. Which, of course, you can open a random locker. See ya. Sayonara. Don't worry, just a normal human jogging through the streets of what of a holographic simulator. Oh, that guy kind of thought he could catch up to me, but you can't catch up to the might of Castellanos. Bring it on, uh, bring it on. Wait, 
when it was doing the pan shot. Yeah, kind of figured. Three dead bodies. A giant eyeball. I wasn't sure if I saw the bodies, but now I'm sure. Well, time to enter the theater. These Do I need to be in here somewhere? Do I got to buy a ticket? Ooh, chapter eight, the premiere. You dare to destroy my work? Yes. You expect me to bend to your will? Yes. Just like them? Yes. Thinking they could sculpt me into what I am not. What they created in here, it's marvelous. They wasted it because they had no imagination. Because they are not artists. They want to control me, manipulate me. And they also want to shut you up. You want to stop me, but you have failed. Because with the power of the core, I can create my art forever. Stefano, you got major issues. What the hell is he doing to these people? Trying to make him into art. <laughs> this Hello. chase has been entertaining. Hello, Stefano. But even the greatest entertainments must come to an end. The girl! Where is she? I commend you for making it this far. If perseverance were an art form, the hell to his eyeball? you would be a master. All right, it's Perhaps in the sky. not a Michelangelo, but a Van Gogh at the very Enough least. art school bullshit! Where is she? The core is safe with me. I took her on his orders. But once I realized the extent of her powers, how could I possibly hand her over? On whose orders? What I'm doing is more important than mere personal gain. He could never understand this. He? Who is he? It doesn't matter. He won't be around much longer. My work... However, we'll continue. <laughs> oh, crap. Picasso had his blue period. I have entered my crimson period. Explosives. Shit. No, don't! Behold, my latest creation. No! Killer Psycho. Sick bastard! How will I ever top this? I'll find a way. Her fear is always inspiring. <coughs> Nothing like the corruption of innocence to spark the fire of creation. Back into you, Stefano. Cannot have her. You would do nothing with her power. You are an uncomprehending. Oh, 
is useless in your hands. I'm coming for you, asshole. When I do, I'm gonna freaking butcher you. But, I'll be in the next video. I've reached my 30 minute mark. This is a question that some people might have, but pretty much I'm going at 30 minutes because if I could do a lot in 15 or do a lot in 30, the attention of the viewer is held longer because if you have a 45 minute video or a 50 minute video or an hour long video, you'll have a lot of fast forwarding unless the viewer is trying to find something specifically out of the video and not technically a whole story. So anyway, like and subscribe, the Osmaster sign off. Till the next video. See ya.